is on the horizon for toddlers who suffer from peanut allergies. It's one of the most common and dangerous allergies without a cure. And now there is progress being made in lab studies of a groundbreaking treatment. A clinical trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine reveals that an experimental skin patch called Via Skin helps children ages one to three who initially couldn't tolerate eating eating even the tiniest piece of peanut safely. Researchers say it shows great promise in the future treatment of peanut allergies. And joining me right now, Dr. Julie Wang, a pediatric allergist and professor of pediatrics at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Dr. Wang, thank you for being here. I know you're also a clinical researcher at the Jaffe Food Allergy Institute and one of the authors of this study. So tell us how the patch works. Yeah, so this is a very exciting new treatment. Um, it is peanut proteins embedded on a, especially embedded on a special, um, on a patch that's placed on the backs of children with peanut allergy and switched out once a day. Wow. And the peanut slowly releases such that the immune cells in the skin are able to see them and basically learn to be less reactive over time. Oh, oh my goodness. So it's just kind of like weaning the child onto those peanut protein, so to speak. Sadly, I know somebody who lost a child uh, due mm. to peanut allergies. They ate Rice Krispie treats with peanut butter in them. That, I know it's extremely rare, rare uh, still. Uh, could this patch eventually be used to save lives? Yes, we hope so, because a big part of managing peanut allergy is making sure that the child doesn't accidentally ingest the even a small amount of peanuts. And that creates a lot a, of stress and burden on the patients and their families on a day-to-day -day basis because we eat all the time, all, you know, many times a day. Um, and so with this patch, the hope is that it will increase the safety such that uh, families can go about their day feeling a little bit better about, you know, continuing their standard management of avoiding peanut and being prepared to treat allergic reactions, but this is an added level of safety. How soon could it be available or how much testing is required until it is? So there are many steps to get a treat, new treatment to market or FDA approval, and we are certainly one step closer to that. You know, this study provides very good evidence to support the efficacy as well as the safety of this treatment for these young ch children. Well, it'll be interesting to see if there's something for teens and for adults, because I know that they too would like to be safer when they go eat at restaurants and things like that. Dr. Julie Wang, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.